what is for you, of course you said, you know, it's changing a bit from year to year what you teach, but what is the core of what you want to uh, give to the students in your mm. uh, workshop uh, within the master program? Mm. Yeah, um, I said it's uh, different from year to year because uh, under this uh, headline, uh, editing and publishing, um, I'm looking for um, approaches that are related to everybody's work that is being done here or that could be done later. And uh, last time we um, did some um, very practical and realistic work for European Photography Magazine in that we um, edited an issue on privacy, so I brought the submissions and a lot of material. And what we did was we selected and um, um, not only selected but uh, developed criteria for selection, which is uh, an important issue for every artist because a technical artist produces but also at the same time must be his or her uh, own editor and um, exercising this uh, task with other people's uh, work, in this case the submissions for a magazine, is a good help. This time we have a different approach. This time, um, because um, this connection with the magazine cannot be made, we are um, editing uh, material that is being done by the artists themselves as uh, their major project here at the school. So I asked them to make a research on the context of their work, to see who are the predecessors of my ideas and who are my neighbors, my contemporary neighbors, and to present it to the group and then develop criteria again for them to choose and also give them very concrete um, advices and hints how to improve and sharpen their uh, project. I mean, you're a good example, no? What you said uh, is, um so it's funny that uh, people who are also teaching here, like uh, Joan von Coberta or Martin Parno, made this um, point uh, last year, especially in a very um, known um, exhibition and also a little manifest, no, that the artist uh, is also the editor and is also the publisher. So this um, double or triple or quadruple role, and you've been living this role for now 30 years, really. And that's true, and not uh, always was it easy to get an understanding for this double role, because people, not um, anymore, but in the beginning, asked me, what are you? Are you an artist or are you a publisher? And I said both, because for me, these two activities are two sides of the same coin. Every photographer must be an editor, and if I edit my own stuff or if I edit work by others, this is an extension of my own project. So um, I'm very happy to be in a role to publish works of artists who I uh, find interesting and stimulating, um, doing work that I personally would never have done or could never and would never like to do. So um, these are two uh, aspects of the same activity, mm -hmm. yes. Because every technical uh, process in photography, video filmmaking, um, produces um, a surplus, more than you finally need. So this is a decision everybody has to make, how to get the number of images or the number of um, filmed uh, minutes or whatever down to what you really need. Maybe we can get to this uh, one point, what you said uh, in class, which I like very much about what for you uh, is the essence of this uh, master program, uh, about the different facets and about the different messages. No? Mm -hmm. Well, we um, spoke about the traditional role of an art school and this kind of institution, which is modern and which is um, a place to bring people who already have an education in the arts um, to um, get another kind of input. Because what is interesting here is, as far as I understand, and uh, I also compare this to the Higher Institute of Fine Arts in Belgium, where I was, have been teaching for quite a number of years, is that you bring in a, a lot of different um, people with different points of views, different skills, different profession, and um, different missions, and confront them with the students, or other way around, the students with them. And so every student then has the possibility to make his or her own choice out of the given offers. Because what we can do is we can offer ideas, help, 
whatever, and then the students have make, to make a decision. But it's very different from a model that gives one professor with a lot of power and some master's students the possibility to work on the same line for a couple of years and then produce pretty one-dimensional characters. So that's different here and this is what I like. Yeah, and that's also what we like, no? And uh, this, the final projects, they are part of this strategy also, no? To have a, like this very broadness, no? You've seen a few ones now, uh, only f three or four, but maybe you can also um, talk about um, this kind of um, differences in their approach, no? What they produce now. Mm -hmm. or well, we find um, it in two dimensions. We find it on different levels of, uh, let's say, quality and achievement and also different um, approaches, uh, different aspects of work. So we find, let's say, the typical classical photographic approach, we find the multimedia approach, we find something that has not so much to do with photography, um, like the example we discussed uh, this afternoon. And in the end, um, it is a wide mixture of different um, yeah, people with different ideas and different uh, messages. And um, these, together with the different people coming here, I think, can transform um, ideas into a melting pot, uh, some multi-dimensional kind of thinking um, and in interpreting the world today, which is much needed. And I call this the interface culture, that we go uh, beyond the category, we go beyond the single media. What we are interested in is how they connect, how they can uh, cooperate and work together. What is this, the interface culture? The interface, yeah. So we have a room and we have another room. This is how we learn to, to think in categories. But the door between the two rooms, the interface, that's the mm, interesting aspect today, to connect and to interchange. You've been doing this with your magazine and your own artwork and your um, practice no? for many years before the interface <coughs> as a, um, a computer internet term you know, has become so um, popular, no? So you've been connecting people for all, all your publishing life, no, at least? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is why I'm so convinced that this is a more productive way of working than in keeping things in categories, yes. Very good. Well, thank you very much uh, for being with us uh, at, in the Master and, of course, also, um, you know, for this little chat on uh, what we've been doing. It was my pleasure and thank you very much. <laughs>